This is Tom Rack, and today I've got a overblown, overhyped video called the top six foods that you have to be eating for your nerve pain. But first, I would be one of these people a couple years ago, I would say this is a ridiculous title for a video. And I'm gonna admit that right off the bat. Listen, nerve pain is serious and complex and I've done a ton of videos, some of them like 30, 40 minutes long, talking about how to diagnose nerve pain, all the different nerve pains and why goofy characters like myself telling you about foods to fix your nerve pain are wasting your time. But these are six proven foods that have some science behind them and I'm gonna tell you when the food actually makes sense when you should focus on the food and which foods you should be eating. And we're starting right now. So the thing with the food is this. Listen, there's vitamins, there's food. Every, if I could fix all my medical problems by eating foods, I would be eating all day. I love to eat, but the reality is foods don't fix everything. The nutrients and the vitamins in foods can make a big difference, but if you're suffering from chronic pain, nerve pain, back pain, hip pain, butt pain, foot pain, heel pain, ball of the foot pain, I've got a ton of great videos uh, where I go over the specific details, how to diagnose those specific pains, what nerves are injured, what types of nerve injuries you might have, the five grades of nerve injuries. Even if you're doing things perfectly, it could take one week or it could take three to five plus months to get better. So this is the kind of stuff you have to know before you're eating uh, kale salads all day and blaming this guy. So find out what specific diagnosis you have and watch potentially the videos down there. And if I'm missing one, let me know. I would like to make more detailed videos about it. But there's biomechanical causes and there's systemic causes. So systemic causes are more like diseases and diabetes and health issues. There's like a hundred different causes of nerve damage. But here's the studies. So here's the six foods that are recommended. Number one are foods that have B vitamins in it. So B1, B6, and B12 are the big B vitamins. So one thing you could do, you could go take a daily multivitamin, but if you don't wanna go buy a multivitamin, there's foods that have B vitamins in them. So specifically meats, fish, seafood, eggs, vegetables, all these things, these are all healthy stuff you know you should be eating. So don't just eat sugars and processed crap. You know, there are studies that are very, very effective showing B vitamins are important. What you can do is you can go to your pediatrist or internal medicine doctor and you can get worked up for your B vitamin levels. If they're very depleted, the B vitamins might make sense. But the reality is for vast majority of the people, if it's a biomechanical problem, watch one of the biomechanical videos, or if it's a systemic problem like diabetes, get healthy. But B vitamins, very, very proven. I think the science is undeniable at this point. If you are B vitamin deficient, and I have people in my videos all the time telling me, hey, I got B vitamins into my system and it made a huge difference. So you can't discount it completely. Number two, this is another big one that I see in my videos all the time, alpha lipoic acid. So this is an antioxidant and you should be eating about 600 to 12 milligrams a day. So what foods are these in? These are in red meat, broccoli, liver, spinach, Brussels sprouts. I always tell you, if you need a vitamin, eat some green vegetables, you know, go to the farmer's market. There's something to the vegan, I don't wanna say veganism, but the farm to table, eating a diet very heavy in vegetables makes a huge, huge difference. And I think, um, you know, the meats aren't necessarily horrible for you, although, uh, you know, feel free to attack me in the comments, but the vegetables are just so rich with pretty much every vitamin. You're never gonna be deficient if you eat very, very high levels of vegetables, such as the ones I just mentioned. And a 2001 study shows that this definitely helps with peripheral neuropathy, nerve pain. These are huge, huge results. Uh, I think I get a ton of messages in these videos as well saying, mention like alpha lipoic acid, it made a huge difference in my life. Number three, acetyl L-carnitine. This is another big one. You should be getting about 500 milligrams plus per day. It's an amino acid. So this is found in meat, fish, chicken, and dairy. So meat, fish, chicken, and dairy. Get your acetyl L-carnitine in, that's a mouthful to say. 
very, very important. I personally uh, don't prescribe this, you know, because I haven't had much um, experience, but studies do show it's very effective. So a 2016 study specifically says neuropathy, nerve pain, very improved by this. So eat those foods. Number four, N-acetylcysteine. So N-acetylcysteine is an amino acid and antioxidant. The thing about N-acetylcysteine is it's not naturally found in food. So this is one where I found some studies, definitely, definitely helps. You know, um, there is some proof that it helps with peripheral neuropathy and nerve pain, but it's not found in food. So get your N-acetylcysteine or NAC in a vitamin form. That could be very beneficial for you. Number five, curcumin. So I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly because I always call it turmeric, and uh, but that's an ingredient in turmeric. So the food is turmeric powder, uh, basically things that have it, vitamins. I know this is such a positive and promoted joint pill. So this can make a big, big difference for you. Turmeric is an anti-inflammatory, so it's gonna help with your joints and it's gonna help with your peripheral neuropathy. A 2014 study showed that uh, turmeric really did improve symptoms of nerve pain, peripheral neuropathy pain, and joint pain because it's used for both those things. And number six, this is a big one, fish oils. So fish oils, this is the trick with fish oils. Most of the supplements out there, the lower cost ones are garbage, you know? There's two specific healthy fish oils, but really when you look at some of these pills, it's like 90% bad fats and like 10% good fats. Go get the healthy cold water fish. So your salmon, your cod oil, your mackerel, your liver oil, your herrings, your oysters, it's also in nuts. So walnuts, uh, those types of things, it's in your nuts, your chia seeds, your flax seeds, but really you wanna get it in your cold water fish. So get your healthy fish 2.4 to 5.5 grams per day. That's actually a lot. It's very expensive to take healthy fish oils but those are really the big ones. So the fish oils, the B vitamins, the N-acetylcysteine, the acetyl-L-carnitine, the alpha-lipoic acid, the turmeric, those six things. If you're having nerve pain, it's worth a shot. If that didn't do it, check out my biomechanical guide. So your back pain, your sciatica, heel pain, your tarsal tunnel, your ball of the foot pain, your Baxter's neuritis. I love to help people with their nerve pain. And if you need a doctor or a podiatrist and you're in the Michigan area, I'd love to see you. Another big thing, get your systemic problems like your diabetes, like your alcoholism, get those things corrected as well. That's a big key to nerve pain as well. And I go over that in my videos. If that helped, let us know in the comments. These subscriptions, these comments really do make a big difference. It keeps these videos promoted and lets us keep helping people. So we want to do our best to help get rid of your foot and ankle pain. And if you need a great podiatrist and you're in the Michigan area, come see us. We'd love to help.